This poem is called Letter to My Father. My father, Francisco Luis Espada, Frank Espada, was born in 1930 and died in 2014. He was actually born in a town called Utuado, Puerto Rico. It's a mountain town in the Cordillera Central. His grandfather, Buenaventura Roig, was the mayor on three different occasions. After Hurricane Maria, John Lee Anderson wrote in the New Yorker, quote, that Utuado has become a byword for the island's devastation. And we know now that it was indeed a deadly hurricane. Uh, studies estimate conservatively that 3,000 people died. Other estimates place it at closer to 4,000. I was here at home watching it unfold on television, on my video screen, and seeing and hearing these references to my father's hometown, to Utualo, over and over again. And I began to reflect on what was going on there. I also wanted to talk to my father about what was happening. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, my father died in 2014. So when I did speak to him, in actuality, I was talking to his ashes in a box on my bookshelf. And that's how this poem evolved. Letter to my father. October 2017. You once said, my reward for this life would be a thousand pounds of dirt shoveled in my face. You were wrong. You are seven pounds of ashes in a box, a Puerto Rican flag wrapped around you next to a red brick from the house in Utuado where you were born, all crammed together on my bookshelf. You taught me there is no God, no life after this life. So I know you are not watching me type this letter over my shoulder. When I was a boy, you were God. I watched from the seventh floor of the projects as you walked down into the street to stop a public execution. A big man caught a small man stealing his car and everyone in Brooklyn heard the car alarm wail of the condemned, he's killing me. At a word from you, the executioner's hand slipped from the hair of the thief. The kid was high, was all you said when you came back to us. When I was a boy, and you were God, we flew to Puerto Rico. You said, my grandfather was the mayor of Utuado. His name was Buenaventura. That means good fortune. I believed in your grandfather's name. I heard the tree frogs chanting to each other all night. I saw banana leaf and elephant palms sprouting from the mountain's belly. I gnawed the mango's pit and the sweet yellow hair stuck between my teeth. I said to you, you came from another planet. How did you do it? You said, every morning, just before I woke up, I saw the mountains. Every morning, I see the mountains. And Utuado, three sisters, all in their 70s, all bedridden, all Pentecostales who only left the house for church, lay sleeping on mattresses spread across the floor when the hurricane gutted the mountain, the way a butcher slices open a dangled pig and a rolling wall of mud buried them, leaving the fourth sister to stagger into the street, screaming like an unheeded prophet about the end of the world. In Utuado, a man who cultivated a garden of aguacate and carambola, feeding the avocado and star fruit to his nieces from New York, saw the trees in his garden be headed all at once like the soldiers of a beaten army, and so hanged himself. In Utuado, a welder and a handyman rigged a pulley with a shopping cart to ferry rice and beans across the river where the bridge collapsed, witnessed the cart swaying above so many hands that raised a sign that told the helicopters, Campamento Los Olvidados. Camp of the Forgotten. Los Olvidados. Wait.
seven hours in line for a government meal of skittles and Vienna sausage or a tarp to cover the bones of a house with no roof as the fungus grows on their skin from sleeping on mattresses drenched with the spit of the hurricane. They drink the brown water waiting for microscopic monsters in their bellies to visit plagues upon them. A nurse says, these people are gonna have an epidemic. These people are gonna die. The president puts rolls of paper towels to a crowd at a church in Guaynabo, Zeus lobbing thunderbolts on the locked ward of his delusions. Down the block, Cousin Ricardo, Bernice's boy, says that somebody stole his can of diesel. I heard somebody ask you once how oh, Puerto Rico needed to be free, and you said, tres pulgadas de sangre la calle. Three inches of blood in the street. Now, Three inches of mud flow through the streets of Utualo, and troops patrol the town as if guarding the vein of copper in the ground, as if a shovel digging graves in the backyard might strike the ore below, as if La Brigada swinging machetes to clear the road might remember the last uprising. I know you are not God. I have the proof. Seven pounds of ashes in a box on my bookshelf. Gods do not die, and yet I want you to be God again. Stride from the crowd to seize the president's arm before another roll of paper towels sails away. Thunder, Spanish obscenities in his face, banish him to a roofless rainstorm in Utualo so he unravels one soaked sheet after another till there is nothing left but his cardboard heart. I promised myself I would stop talking to you. White box of gray grit. You were deaf even before you died. Hear my promise now. I will take you to the mountains where houses lost like ships at sea rise blue and yellow from the mud. I will open my hands. I will scatter your ashes in Utuado.